Uh, hi. In this video, we'll talk about collection interface in Java. So what is collection interface? What it contains, we will discuss in this video. So if you see the diagram, which we already saw in our introduction part of collections. So the top root level, this is the one collection we are talking about. So the collection interface. So what is collection? Collection is the parent or root interface in collections framework. Okay, so this is parent or root interface, right? So in the collections framework. So collection interface defines the most common methods. Okay, it defines the most common methods which are applicable for any collection object. So as it is parent and it is an interface, it will contain multiple methods. So those methods are applicable for each and every collection which, which is so implements this, right? It is an in interface. So the other classes implementing this, you know, interfaces extending all these things can be used all the methods which are available in this collection. So it is the parent or root interface in collections framework. Collection interface defines the most common methods which are applicable for any collection object, okay? So from the table, you saw so many uh, things under this collection, right? So it, on the methods which are there, which are met, uh, methods which are there in this, all applicable for all this list set queue, all, everywhere it is applicable, okay? So methods defined in collection interface. What are the methods inside this collection interface? Right, so the first one is Boolean add inside this object. So it contains multiple objects, right? Add object. So the add method is to add single object to collection. So it will add only single object, right? So you have one more method called add all. So this add all, the parameter you need to pass, add mills, add all mills more than one element. So more than one element, how you will represent? So it will be in the form of collection. So to this collection, you can add another collection, okay? So to add a group of objects to collection. So here group of objects means again, another collection, right? So another collection you can say, so to the collection, another collection you can add. So another method is remove, okay? So remove the object, to remove single object from collect, collection. So if you want to remove single object, you can use this remove method. And the re, uh, return type of these methods are Boolean, Boolean, Boolean. Means if it is added, it will return true. If it is not added, false. If it is added all the elements, returns true, otherwise false. And the same way it removes, then true, otherwise false. And the same way you have remove all. The how you have add all and you no know, adding the collection, the same way here also, same thing. So to re remove group of objects from the collection, okay? Boolean retain all, here also, collection C, the same way collection, but here to remove all objects except those represent in C. So except this collection, you remove all other elements. But whatever you mention in the, as a parameter, only hold this. The remaining things you, you remove from the collection, okay? So clear, clear means to clear all objects all the objects from the collection, okay? If you want to remove all the objects, you can use this clear method. It will clear all the objects from the collection. So we'll see all these methods by taking an example in our upcoming videos. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven we discussed, six we discussed, we have few more. So again, Boolean contains object to, to verify collection contains mentioned object or not. Means we have a collection, inside the collection I want to verify whether the object is there or not. This object is there inside this collection or not. For that, we'll use contains. The similar way you have contains all and it is collection. So another collection, this collection contains another collection or not. To verify collection contains group of objects or not. So that with the help of contains all we can verify. So Boolean is empty. Is empty means to verify collection is empty or not. So you have a collection inside that you have objects or not that you, you want to verify. With the help of is empty method, is empty true means that is 
you do not have any elements inside the collection if it returns false means you have some elements inside the collection so size of the collection right how many elements are there to get the size or number of objects in of the collection object array to array so you can convert a collection to an array right if you want to convert your collection to array you can convert so we have seen in our previous video that uh, cursors or oh, iterator so iterator to get all the elements one by one from the collection and the return type of iterator method is iterator only okay so to get all the elements one by one from the collection so by taking one example we'll discuss all these methods okay so here if it is collection no concrete class available which implements collection interface directly right you have interface so interface will have abstract classes right abstract classes so if you want to use those we have we should have one child class which should implement this interface right so but here there is no such class available which implements collection interface directly okay so i mean directly means you say if you go to the uh, diagram you see that under the collection you have three more interfaces no class in you uh, know in the first level okay in the first level you do not have any other concrete classes we have three interfaces so because of that we are saying there is no concrete class implemented this collection so in the same way no direct method available you see that no direct method available in collection interface to get the objects right so there is no concrete class available which implements collection interface directly no direct method available in collection interface to get the objects so we need to remember these two things so apart from that what could be the possible inter equations from here so what is collection interface in so this is interface right collection interface in java what are all methods defined in the collection interface so whatever we discussed till now you can explain with one example okay so this is all about collection interface so that's all in this video thank you